we're all cute. And then we're all cute matching. Yeah. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, I'm gonna finally come through with something you guys have been asking for for a long time. Ever since I bought this truck, you guys have been just like super nagging me to clean up the frame. And at first, I was like, no. I don't care, but now I told you guys I'm gonna actually try, we're gonna make the truck nice. If you guys didn't see last video, I explained it, just go watch last video, I, I just told you guys, we're just full sending. So, this morning I went out and I picked up some Ultimate Rust Preventative Coating. It's nothing special, it's not like any super expensive name brand one. Um, I literally just went to Lord come pick this up. And essentially what this stuff should do, this stuff says it paints right over rust. Um, so we should be able to just kind of like sand it down and then paint over it. And it's not actually as bad as you guys like think it is. Like it, it, do we have like a little scraper somewhere? I think my little scraper's right here. Just like hit, yeah, hit like any spot on the frame. You guys look at this and it, it looks gross, because it kind of is. But if you just give it like a little bit of love, and then a quick clap down, it's just like, it, it's rusty, but it's not rusting, if that makes sense. Like this is just like garbage built up on the frame. A little bit of rust, obviously like surface rust, but the frame underneath there is still solid. So what this stuff is, is essentially you should be able to take this, get the frame down to a point where it looks like that and then paint over it because this will seal it. So the thing is a lot of people like just paint the frame or we'll just use like paint to go over it, but the paint isn't like moisture resistant. Paint over time, the moisture will get into it and they'll eventually rust, whereas this stuff's supposed to seal out any moisture. So it should essentially, you're supposed to go over or whatever little bit of rust is left and it should stop it from ever rusting again. So hopefully it works. That's what we're gonna try and do today because it's just ugly to look at. Are we doing the front? I think we should do everything. Like I think we should do the whole, minus like we'll do underneath the cab. So we're not taking the cab off. I know it's gonna irk a lot of people, but like not even gonna lie to you guys, one of the, the mounts is stripped. So to get, the cab, to get the cab off the frame is gonna be a huge pain in the ass. It looks ugly, but all we're not gonna be able to do is like the very top where it's touching the cab, like where the frame touches. We'll be able to do the sides, the underside, everything that you'll see will look nice, and then just on the top, unfortunately, we won't be able to get it perfectly, but we'll do our best. But I'm not even gonna try and spend an entire day trying to pull the cab off when it doesn't really matter. Like if the frame actually mattered. Yeah, like if it was like really bad, and like yeah, well, we would we'd, we'd we'd take it, it off. We would take the cab off. But we, when we had the floor pans out, you remember you sand yeah. down the frame, and it yeah, was like it super was nice. So like the frame is not in bad condition, no. so like there's no need to really pull it off. No, but, but like a lot of people live in like, California yeah. and they see this and they're like what the hell is wrong with your truck yeah because they're used to just like no wear and tear yeah. or but then there's people in Saskatchewan where they're like yeah. oh, they're like, oh wait, it's fine yeah. dude mine has six holes it yeah. still goes there's gonna be a couple things this we probably should do yeah. Like I feel like this no. and this cross member are both gonna have to come out. They're coming out. Also, you guys will notice that I've finally qualified to, I don't even know what the qualifications are, nobody really knows how you get this, but I finally have the little join button on my channel. So that's just, basically you guys can become members and what you guys will get, I'm not gonna try and riddle this off to you guys all the time, I'm just telling you about it right now because it just went live. Um, so thank you to everybody that's already joined as a member. What you guys will get as a member is you guys will get early access to the website because it always sells out super fast and a lot of people are super mad that they always miss it. So all the members will get the code to the website about an hour before it drops so you guys can get in there and get whatever you want before it's completely sold out. You guys will also get live streams like every couple weeks I'll do a little live stream, I'll reveal some stuff to you. You guys will have your hand in like decision making and 100% of that profit is going back into the channel. It's not something that I'm gonna take and like go do stupid things with. Like all the money I earn from the join button will fund these projects so give us the like a little bit more money to have a little bit more fun on the channel, bring you guys better content and, and better stuff. So 100% of that will be recycled right back into the channel, I promise. All right, first things first, we gotta move Bertha, and we gotta move this Bertha, because I don't wanna get it covered in rusty poops. Rusty poops. Then we can do our favorite thing. Sanding. <laughs> Are you leaving it here? Hell yeah, we are. I feel like this is such an unnecessary angle. I thought you were gonna get it full sideways. Yeah. All right, I'm saying first off, just so we don't make like a huge mess, we get all like the scales off with this. You know what I mean? We just kind of go around and get all like the big chunky garbage off with this. Like, what is this? Get, 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 get.
think we're better off with a little one. Yeah, but I already maxed it out. Well, not maxed out, but I already went as deep as we need to go. All right, we basically got the entire rear of this thing done. It looks really good. Like, it, it actually kind of still looks like poo, but like, it looks a lot better. This side had a lot more metal showing. It just kind of came out really nice. And then we removed this rear brace. We literally just cut these. These were welded on the other sides. Um, so we literally just cut this off, broke this whole brace off, and we'll probably have to make our own rear brace right here, but we just want to see, like, what everything's gonna do. Because we still don't even know how we're gonna get the engine in here, like, we don't know anything yet. So we just removed that one because it's, it's garbage. We left this one in case we want to utilize it. So we cleaned it up. We're not gonna paint it, though, because I do have a good feeling we're just gonna have to cut it out and start again. In case we end up using it, we left it there. Um, like I said, that'll stay rusty for now, because there's no point of wasting all the brand new paint on it and then cutting it out anyways. The only way to get this front mount out is to drill it out. We were thinking about cutting it at first. I was like, oh, we can just take the grinder to like right here and just grind the bolts out just like we did with that cross beam in the back. But then this one is sunken into the mount. So right here, we're just trying to drill this one out. That's where we're at right now. It, uh, it looks dirty, but these are brand new. We literally installed these a couple weeks ago, so I don't really wanna, I don't wanna mess them up, you know? No. We wanna try and make them last. Then we can at least cut these ones out and reuse the mounts. We'll just have to make our own little like bracket and as long as the motor sits the way we were saying it's gonna sit where like the transmission will be behind it, we'll just have to literally put it like somewhere, maybe even on this bar somehow. We're also running into an issue where I've been doing a lot of drilling recently and uh, I've completely pooched all my drill bits. So we have like a couple quarter inch drill bits that are like good and sharp, but nothing upsized nothing from a quarter inch is, is working. Nope. All right, I think we I think we figured out a way so this is like the fuel lines and there's a little hole right here If we pop this thing off and they shouldn't be held by much else, right? Like where do they go? They go right into the frame mm -hmm. and then they go down. Okay, go yank on one of them. Well, there's clips along the frame That's Oh, is there? Yeah. So we got to go into there cut the clips and pull them out <laughs> Yep I'm fired up that it actually worked. Whoa. <laughs> There's a hole here. It can't be that structurally unstable to make a hole on the other side. Never let stupid little things like that get in your way. Because it's super easy to fix if you actually just like think about it for a second. So this little doorway, that little doorway saves you about four hours of work. One of the issues that we have now is that this is really sticky. Um, this, there was like a lot of oil and just like whatever was coming out of the engine and dripping over its entire life was happening right there. And like the rest of the frame when it cleaned up, it's like really nice to touch. This part is like super, super sticky and kind of greasy. I'm worried that the, like the paint stuff won't stick to it properly. So we're gonna run in and grab some degreaser because like the last thing I wanna do is waste my entire night painting this and then tomorrow morning it flakes off. All right, hopefully this stuff's good. This is the only thing we could go out and find. It's like Sunday night, which we didn't even think about when we left, so like nothing was open. So I'm just gonna probably like spray it on, wipe it down kind of deal. Uh, maybe get like a bucket of water. It looks good leaving and then coming back and looking at it. I'm very happy with the progress we're making. Bruh, some of the gas in these lines is like rusty. Like some of these gas lines actually had rust in them. Or maybe the tank is just disgusting because it's old. I literally just noticed there's like poop coming out of that. Anyways, this is all cleaned up. That's why I went with the heat gun and just kind of dried everything up. I hit the whole thing with the heat gun, even stuff that was already dry. So like this looks darker now because there's no loose rust on it. The loose rust is kind of brown, but once you get it all off, it just turns into like a dark, nicer actually to look at kind of color. Now, that time of day, I've finally made it. I'm also sorry the garage got so echoey. When I took everything off this wall when I cleaned the other day, it like super got echoey again and I hate it. I hate it and I'm sorry. This stuff just says to do exactly what we did. We're supposed to be dry, free of grease, oil, clean off any loose paint over the rusted area, sand or wire brush. I've never done anything like this. Like I've never tried to just paint a frame, let alone use a paint that's supposed to go on over the rust. <laughs> it does smell though. This is really more of like a dust mask. Believe me, it's better than wearing no mask. We are gonna give you a thorough mix. I also picked up just like absolutely terrible paint brushes for this because you're not gonna want to use this again. See how this goes on here. Oh, it does spread thick. That's so weird. When you pick it up, it runs, but when you when you apply it, 
it's like really, really thick when I'm brushing it around, if that makes sense. Like that, it feels thicker when you're moving it than it did when I just let it drip off the brush. It says to apply it pretty thin to make sure that it all dries properly. You know what? We're gonna stop, because we are dripping. I think, I think now we're ready to go. This looks so good. Up here is where I was worried about and it, it looks like it actually went on like perfectly fine. It's nice and like if you rub it, there's nothing like really wrong with it. Not that rubbing it would do anything, but like you know what I mean? Like it's stuck very nicely. So I let this dry all night long. I basically put on one coat and then last night it was like midnight. By the time I was on one coat, it took me like almost two and a half hours. Cause like, you gotta get like in all the little nooks and crannies. Like I really didn't think it would take that long. Um, but I got the first coat on last night and then I let it dry all night long. It says to wait like two to four hours So I just sent it with the full night. It looks so good So like obviously it doesn't look perfect like I said It doesn't look like we sanded down the frame and took it like right down to bare metal There's spots like here where like it's pretty close Like it looks like we did a really good job and there's other spots like up here where it's like a little bit more rigid But point was never to get it to the point where it looks like it's a brand new frame The point is just to keep it from rusting any further and to make it look nice when you're gonna see it or when you see the spots that you're gonna see you know what I mean? Anything that isn't painted, I'm assuming is gonna leak. So we're gonna need a new diff, we're gonna need a new drive shafts, that's gonna come with new brakes, obviously. Um, so this whole unit is gonna be gone. And then I'm assuming that like the whole shock and leaf spring assembly is not gonna carry the weight very well of a full LS engine back here. And then if you chase the frame down, if you look underneath, it's all nice and black as well. It looks so good, dude. It looks so good. If you just stand here and look at it, Mm. I was also super nervous when I bought this can, but like look at this. I've only used like maybe a third of this can so far and I did the whole frame. Like I bought two of these and I was like, oh, maybe I should buy more and then I only had two. So I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll just get two and then come back when we need more. But like this, this stuff actually spreads pretty well, which is good because these little cans are expensive. I think this coat was a little bit too thick actually because it's really hard to tell what you're doing when you're painting over something that's solid black. It's not like when you paint your house and you can like obviously tell where it's seeping through and where the color isn't seeping through. The first coat of this went on extremely dark so it was like almost impossible to tell where I had and hadn't done. So I think the second coat was a little thicker than it could have been but it's done and it looks it just literally looks the same as the first coat, but it's, I'm, I'm excited that I'm done. And then the only thing I didn't do was paint inside the frame on the rear. So I did the rest, but on the rear, I know there's gonna be a lot of tubing and a lot of stuff going on back here, so I just skipped it because I know we're gonna grind it down and, and weld braces and, and mounts and a whole bunch of stuff back here, so I just completely skipped that. And then we'll just do one more um, coat over the back once we have all the tubing and everything laid down. It's good. I'm stoked we did this. I'm, I, it was something that I wasn't going to do at first and you guys pressed me to do it. You pressed me to do it. And then when I was like, you know what, fine, we'll make the S10 super dope. This makes me feel really good. Like, when you look at it now, it just looks nicer. I'm fired up and I think it looks really good. Also, it also really stinks. I'm going to leave it in there like that for now. And I'm gonna leave the door down and everything because it needs, it doesn't want to be like too humid when it's drying. It says on the can and it's, of course, I live in Vancouver, so it's raining. So I'm gonna leave the door down for now and then just go out there and open it a couple hours and let it air out. Because when I opened the door this morning, I literally opened it walking down the stairs. I smelled the garage from standing at my staircase. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so bad. It wasn't absolutely terrible, but it was definitely potent this morning. Anyways, that's all I'm gonna have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It should be one of the final, more like boring ones before we actually get into like doing some good stuff. So I'm still trying to get some parts and um, source like a transmission and all that kind of stuff, like a transaxle or whatever we end up doing. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace out and stay committed. Yeah.